excuse me, hello, Leo. Welcome to Kids of Consciousness, where we are all kids at heart. Today we are doing a full moon eclipse in Scorpio tarot spread that I found. And we're just going to go ahead and just jump straight into it. Angel number 131 might be significant to you. I'm seeing it right now. Angel guides, spirits, ancestors call upon you to assist with this divinatory reading for the sign of Leo, sun, moon, rising, with this beautiful spread of questions that we have in front of me. Please and thank you. First off, what is the full moon energy bringing up for Leo, please? What is the full moon energy bringing up for the signs of Leo, sun and rising? You got the magician reversed. Um, what is this bringing up for you? You're recognizing your power. You're recognizing what abilities you have and how you manifest so easily. And I get the general feeling that since it's reversed, you have done a lot of things unconsciously. What is it that Leo truly desires? Knight of Wands. You want to take the high road on something. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag for the Knight of Wands. So this is you, definitely. Um, you're wanting to take action towards something. Maybe to fix the things that you've unconsciously manifested certain outcomes from. But you're feeling pretty determined and um, strong, led by spirit. Um, you're gonna you want to take some action towards something what is this knight of wands for, for leo two of wands reversed it's like you want to take action towards something that you haven't been able to take action on what before Tell me more, please. Uh, you've been indecisive on how to go towards it, maybe. Uh, maybe out of fear because of what you've done before, what you've unconsciously created before. You're not quite sure how to go about it. And then you got the Eight of Pentacles in reversed. Um, I get the sense that whatever you're taking action towards, you're not trying to make it something that you invest too much time or effort into you're trying to be kind of strategic about it I feel like um, I feel like you also don't want to give off the wrong impression to people um, very interesting maybe it's just like some sort of inconsistency some sort of flighty energy with this knight of wands because again you're you're indecisive with the two of wands in reverse but it's also something that you're not investing too much time into so maybe you need to invest more time into your plan here maybe you need to think about it a little bit more um instead of being so hot-headed and jumping the gun and trying to go fix things Maybe your indecisiveness is a sign to hold back for now. So what is Leo learning to detach from? Page 
Page of Swords energy. You're learning to detach from miscommunications. Um, I feel like you're trying to learn how to be the bigger person in some sort of a situation. Whenever I see the Page of Swords, I think of Facebook because right here at the bottom there's an F that looks like the Facebook symbol. So there might be some interactions on social media, some communications with some immature people. Um, that's what you're detaching from. You're detaching from immature communicative people. Um, giving your time and energy to the people that don't deserve it. Um, yeah. What can you let go of? Leo, what can you let go of this eclipse? prideful energy here from you Leo not to be in a negative aspect but you've got some okay anyways sorry my kid came in what can you let go of the nine of cups um pride I get pride from this um, you might be in a position where you look good, you smell good, you are happy, um, you're protecting what you have, um, but it might be coming at a cost. I get the fact that you have been very successful in your life so far, you are very emotionally happy, but there's certain situations around you that you're not very satisfied with, so you're trying to protect your happiness within all that but at the same time it's kind of like ruining your relationships I feel like ruining something you've got going on um, so there's something about your pride here and I'll pull a clarification on what that might be but um, I hope that you understand the law of as above so below whatever you think you attract whatever you desire it is eventually going to come towards you yeah okay so to clarify the nine of cups i got justice and the seven of cups in reverse and with these i feel like you feel there's been an injustice you're sitting there protecting yourself and your happiness but you're not recognizing the good within whatever else is going on. You're putting a flat judgment on everything you're dealing with and saying, nope, it's not for me. Nope, that's not an option. Nope, that's not going to make me happy because this, this, and this. And you're giving yourself all these reasons to empty your cup. It's like you have all these cups behind you. Are you really paying attention to them, or are you just protecting your feelings? Which is fine, you can protect your feelings, but there's a balance here. You're going to push people away, you're going to ruin situations, you're going to fuck things up, basically, just to protect yourself here. So there needs to be a really good balance with the justice card here there needs to be some really good introspection some shadow work because you have a lot of options to make yourself feel better do better to have that actual ten of cups that you desire but there's an imbalance probably in the way that you think or the people that you allow around yourself and the way that you talk to them that's what I'm getting or the way that they talk to you Advice for Leo, please. What does Leo need to know? <coughs> A couple. Quiet nourishes me. 
It says, quiet nourishes me. It connects me to the power of now. Savoring the positive. Allow myself the spaciousness of savoring the delicious gifts in my life. So you might want to be practicing gratitude. Instead of just collecting all these cups, you want to be grateful for them too so that you can actually keep them. In the flow. When I am in the flow, magic happens. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead. I got the number 29, 27, and 37. You might be 29 years old, 37 years old, 27 years old. Uh, you might be life path 2, 11, 9, uh, 10 also, 1. That's a lot of numbers, but let's go to 29. I got 27, I see. Quiet nourishes me. It connects me to sacred space. I allow myself to step away from the sounds of technology and from the sounds of voices, my own as well as others. The return to quiet brings me back to myself where I can experience my own stillness. Quiet allows me to listen. When I am quiet, I am able to hear what is going on inside myself. To connect to the gentle pulse of my own body, subtle sensations, feeling, and needs emerge. When I savor quiet, I am brought back to the power of now. Number 37, savoring the positive. I slow down and savor the positive experience in my life. I purposefully dwell on cherished events and people around me. Savoring the positive allows me to enjoy the moment and accept the delicious gifts that are in my life right now. Prolonging my attention on feelings and sensations connected to heartfelt memories as act of kindness and loving encounters, no matter how big or small, strengthens my capacity to embed them within my psyche. Over time, the practice of savoring the positive builds my emotional resilience, providing a foundation of strength that will support me during stressful times. And 29. When I, when I am in the flow, doors open and lights change to green before me. When I am in the flow, I relax and am guided in ways I hadn't thought of each step. Each person, each connection is revealed to me. When I am in the flow, a cosmic yes mirrors the yes from within my heart and magic happens. But if I find myself pushing for what I want, I, if I find I am too dissatisfied or frustrated, I may be out of the flow. Sorry, I gotta answer this. Sorry, that was uh, somebody, somebody calling me. Anyways. I may be out of flow to rediscover my inner flow. I stop and notice any resistance I'm experiencing. Outer resistance may be universal feedback telling me no or not now. The inner resistance may be down, may be my own deeper knowing that no, this isn't right. Then an opening can occur, a small crack in my thinking that reveals something new, and I get back in the flow, trusting that the flow is taking me where I need to go. Affirmation, when I am in the flow, magic happens. Okay, Leo, thank you. Love you. Don't forget, we're all kids at heart. I gotta get in the mood for that. We're all kids at heart. Damn it. <laughs>